Hello, it's me, the ukulele teacher, here to teach you how to play Fireflies by Owl City. So, grab your uke. Make sure it's in tune, and if you need help tuning your uke, then be sure to download my free app, the ukulele app, right now. And when it's in tune, it should sound like this. Before we begin, I'm just going to play you through a simple version of the first verse and chorus to give you a rough idea of what the song will sound like when you've learned it. Then I'll go into each section in a bit more depth afterwards. You would not believe your eyes of ten million fireflies lit up the world as I fell asleep. Cause they fill the open air, leave teardrops everywhere. You'd think me rude, but I just stand and stare. I'd like to make myself believe the planet Earth turned slowly. It's hard to say that I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep, cause everything is never as it seems. These are the chords that you'll need for the song. If you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of G, put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, your second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And the chord of G should sound like this. To play the chord of C, put your third finger on the third fret of the first string, and the chord of C should sound like this. To play the chord of F, put your first finger on the first fret of the second string, and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And the chord of F should sound like this. To play the chord of E minor, put your first finger on the second fret of the first string, your second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. And the chord of E minor should sound like this. To play the chord of A minor, put your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and the chord of A minor should sound like this. And to play the chord of D, put your first, second, and third fingers on the second fret of the fourth, third, and second strings. And the chord of D should sound like this. Now first we're going to start by learning the verse, and I'm going to tell you right away the chords are just G, C, F, repeated over and over again. And there are loads and loads of different ways you can play this, so it's up to you. You can either pick the easiest way, or the hardest way, or the most fun way, or what I like to do is chop and change between the different verses. For the first verse, I just play one downstroke on each chord, so I learn where the chord changes come. It sounds like this. G, two, three, C, F, two, three, four. G, two, three, C, Two, three, four. So let me play it through just with downstrokes for the first verse. You would not believe your eyes if ten million fireflies lit up the world as I fell asleep. Cause they fill the open air and leave teardrops everywhere. You'd think me rude, but I just stand and stare. For the second verse, the chords are exactly the same, G to C to F, but I like to start to strum. I play it something like this. Cause I get a thousand hugs and ten thousand lightning bugs. They try to teach me how to dance. Fox trot above my head, a sock hop beneath my bed. A disco ball is just hanging by a thread. Now the approximate pattern that I'm playing there is just down, down, up, up, down, down, up, like this. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. The only bit that's difficult is between G and C you swap halfway through the pattern, so it's like this. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then you play the full pattern on the F. So when you can play that through, that's another strumming pattern that I suggest for the verse. But you can make the pattern as easy or as difficult as you like, or you can mess around with some finger picking. Another thing that I like to do is just a basic finger pick followed by a strum, where I pluck all four strings of a chord and then strum once. So I pluck all four strings of the G and then strum the C like this. And then I do the same thing with the F, strum all four and then strum once. G, C, F. And again, all the other verses are just G to C to F, so it doesn't matter which one you play it on. So I'm going to move on to the next verse to show you that. Leave my door open just a crack. Please take me away from here, because I feel like such an insomniac. 
please take me away from here. Why do I tire of counting sheep? Please take me away from here when I'm too tired to fall asleep. So now you've got your one down stroke on each chord, you've got your strumming pattern, and you've got the little finger pick and strum pattern that I like to mix up between them. So my advice is to just go through each of the verses and play them with whatever pattern you like, or make up your own. So all we need to learn now is the chorus, and the strumming pattern that I play for that is the same one as I play when I'm strumming the verse. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. The first line is F to C to G, and you play half a pattern on F and C, and then the full pattern on G, like this. F, C. And then the next line is F to C to E minor to F. And here you play a half a pattern on each of those chords like this. F, C, E minor, F. Then the next line is F to C to F to G to A minor. And here you play half a pattern on the F and the C like before. But then you just play one downstroke on the F, G and A minor like this. And then the final line is F to C to D. And here again you play half a pattern on the F and C, and a full pattern on the D, like this. And now let's sing it through together, nice and slow, with the chords and the strumming. I'd like to make myself believe I've been the ukulele teacher. If you have any requests for future lessons, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I love you all and I wish you the best.